Is this thing focused? Put the news away. Put the snacks away. Actually, no, you could keep snacking because come on, let's be real. Is that not what we're getting really good at doing? Eating everything in our fridge. Mother nature basically is coming at us, letting us know who's boss. Your girl's been stuck in this apartment for a week and I'm already going crazy. Is this what my life would be like for the rest of my life? What's going on everybody? It's me, Joe, and I wanted to make this video because I wanted to one, document the fact that we are in this insane pandemic. We're living history right now. Two, I wanted to tell you that I've been on the road filming for a really special project, and so I haven't been posting, but because it got stopped because of the pandemic, your girl's back. And three, I really wanted to sit down and talk to you about these thoughts that have been crossing my mind. Even though I'm watching the news and thousands more people are infected and people are dying and it's really all very heavy, heavy and sad and grim. Even in this worst case scenario, I've thought about a lot of positive things that come from dark times like this. And I don't know if it's because I've already been through a near death experience and I've had to pull myself out of that and see the positives that I am still alive and that all of these beautiful things are happening around me. Not everybody has gone through a near death experience, but with this pandemic happening, I feel like this is a great equalizer in a sense of nobody is free from the risk. And because of that, we're going back to the basics. So let's talk about positive number one. For starters, this is putting all of our control habits in check. We are no longer in control. And the thing is, we were never in control. We were never in control. Mother Nature was in control, but she just let us go. She was like, you know what, yeah, make your rules, make your governments, make your hierarchies. But I'm gonna show you who's boss in 2020. Basically, exactly what Mother Nature is doing. She's telling us that at the end of the day, we don't have control. We don't know when this is gonna end. We don't know how bad it's gonna get. But if you zoom out for a minute and you realize you never actually had control, maybe that'll help put things into perspective. Now, I feel like with this pandemic, people are realizing the limit that we have as humans and a lot of people are resorting to fear but i encourage you and i challenge you to think about what this means in a positive sense who's texting me put that on silent i was on a roll anyways what's interesting about this time is because the world is slowing down the economy is slowing down on a global scale a lot of people are out of work and a lot of people are just paused on their work lives it's going to create this big big moment of self-reflection where it's like who am I without my career? And I wanna let you know, you are much more than your work. I know it's hard. It's something I struggle with. Like I used to associate my value as a human being with how much work I used to do. And that is toxic and it's not sustainable. And it comes from a culture of capitalism. And because right now the whole world is stopping, economically speaking, we get to create value for ourselves without work being a huge factor. And that's brilliant because if we can establish this core understanding of who we are and what makes us happy without work, that's something we could take for the rest of our lives. We could change jobs 75 times and it's not gonna matter. Another thing is realizing a lot of the things that you think matter don't. You don't need to go shopping to be happy. You don't need to travel the whole world and back to be happy. All you need are basic things. Food, water, human contact, physical exercise, and sun. Am I missing anything? Shelter, obviously. You need shelter. Because we're in quarantine mode, we're gonna have a lot of time on our hands. What are the healthy habits that you can start doing now that you can continue to do after the pandemic is done? This is the time to be healthy. This is the time to eat well. This is the time to work out. This is the time to journal. This is the time to get creative. And what a gift. Like when else are we gonna get this extremely free time to just be, to just be ourselves? Like without the pressures of work, without having to go to meetings, maybe we're working remote, but let's be honest, you're in pajama pants eating your seventh bowl of cereal before noon, and that's just the way it's gonna be for a little bit. You do not need to come up with a Nobel Peace Prize worthy piece of work at the end of this. What you do need to do is check in with yourself and be like, what do I wanna do with this time? Because this time is a gift and we're gifted this time and it's not gonna happen again, hopefully, knock on wood, so make use of it. Another thing that has crossed my mind is, you know, because of social distancing, we're obviously isolated. We're reaching out more than ever. I don't know about you, but I spend three hours minimum on the phone with friends and family, but what the beautiful opportunity here is, is to realize who is actually important to you. Who are those people in your core group of friends that actually add value? Find your people and connect to them now because you have time to do so. 
It is such a brilliant time for you to get to know yourself, for you to become friends with yourself. A lot of people have always been afraid of this. To some people, this is literally their worst nightmare. It's like, what am I gonna do by myself? You could do a lot by yourself. You could take care of yourself. You could give yourself a hair mask. You could get your nails done by yourself. You could like watch YouTube videos, teach yourself some new skills, take a breather alone and realize that you are fun. Like you are an interesting person. You can be your own best friend and I encourage you to do so because once you are comfortable with yourself, everything else is gonna feel like a piece of cake. This is yo time, boo boo. Another thing I've been thinking about is how important nature is to us. When you strip down all of the bullshit that we do in our day to day, you start realizing the basics that make you happy as a human being and the truth is we need nature. We need sunshine. And even for people that live in cities, I know that it makes a difference because we're biologically created to need sun. So even if it's just going for a walk or sticking your head out of the window, make that time to get yourself some nature time. Nature is us, we are nature, enjoy it appreciate it. Also, how many of you have reached out to your parents and your siblings and your grandparents more than ever? I have a habit of reaching out to my family already because of, again, like when you almost lose your life, you start realizing like, holy shit, uh, I should probably reach out to the people I love. But what I love so much is that people worldwide are doing this and what an amazing trend, like what an incredible opportunity to connect to our family, to check in, even if it's via FaceTime. We're realizing right now that we've been thirsty for this connection and hopefully after this is all done you make the habit to do more of it. Here's something that's interesting too, you know, we are now living in this world where we cannot interact with strangers and so when you do have this distant glance from a stranger across the street it makes your day or when you look outside of the window and your neighbor smiles at you it makes your day. We are going back to the primitive basic needs of humankind and that is so beautiful to me that I feel like we should take a moment to appreciate it. It's so basic. And yet with all of our work lives and our bubbles of things that we think are so important, we forget, like we have literally forgotten what we need to be happy. And this virus is making us remember. So this is the time to write down everything that you've always wanted to do, check some stuff off of that list, or maybe it's time to relax, to rest, to be still. Maybe it's time to catch up on your entertainment. You never know when you can get some creative breakthroughs. Don't feel guilty. This is not the time to feel guilty. In the midst of all of this shitty, shitty news, I do feel like there are so many positives that will come out of this. And those are just some of my thoughts. Wanted to share them with you. Hopefully they helped. And I would love to hear your thoughts below. What are you grateful for in this time? Like what is keeping you excited? What's keeping you motivated? And share it with the community because right now we need to be close. This is how we're gonna do it though. I can't be knocking on your door. You can't be knocking on mine. We can't be going to the bar. So we're gonna have to have this virtual hangout. And that's another thing to be positive for too. Like we have the internet. What the, f imagine if this was 1918. No internet, no phones just bad news. We are blessed, even in this crazy time. I think that's it, I like talked a lot. Oh, my back hurts, like, <sighs> time to go eat my 12th snack of the day. Bye, wash your hands. My name is Penny and I'm a puppy. And if I had one piece of life advice to get through this is be a dog, cause we can't get it. <laughs>